Hi everybody, I promised to do a quick video to explain um, the very basics of our primary and foreign keys, okay? So this little example that we're going to use is going to complement uh, what we've seen in our class classes this week, okay? So the first thing that we have, we have a database table which is create table members, okay? So this kind of follows off with the little example we had in class. So we've member ID which has been set up as an integer, not null, and it's got an auto increment. So this is our primary key. This is the unique identifier for our members table. And we're going to say that our um, members table has a first name, a last name, a date of birth, and an email value. Okay, so absolutely fine. So we've some constraints that it's going to be not null for first name and last name, and that someone's email uh, must be unique. So absolutely fine. So we want to take this a little step further. Someone said that, you know, a, a member is going must have an email address or it must have an address. So maybe we might want to be able to post something out to someone or to know where they live or whatever it's going to be. Okay. So where are we going to store that information? So we're going to create another ta another table, which is called an address table. So I'm going to create a new tab and I'm going to create a table. So I'll build this up quickly. So create table address. Absolutely fine. So I'm going to say that we're going to have a unique identifier for our table called address, which will be an address ID, which is going to be of type int, not null, and I will get it to auto increment. Okay, excellent. And we're going to set this to be our primary key. Primary key. And we're going to say that this is going to be address underscore ID. Perfect. Now we're going to keep this table. I'm just really just trying to show the relationships, okay, between the primary and foreign key. So let's say that the address table is made up of a full address. This is going to be a varchar uh, 255, and that it just can't be null. Okay, now that's fine, and that's great. So this is my address table. But we said that we want to have a relationship between our address table and our members table, in that we want to say that the we want to be able to associate a member with an address. So we need to introduce something to the address table, not, not null. So we need to be able to relate something. So if I have a lot of entries in my address table, how do I know that this address belongs to one of our members, okay? So how do we uniquely identify a member? Well, that's via our primary key. So this is our unique value, which is member ID, okay? So I need to be able to store a member's member ID in my address table so that I can link a member to a given address, okay? So I'm going to create a, a foreign key value, which I call member ID, and it's going to be of type ID, and it's going to be of type int. Okay, so we can make this more complex, but we won't go there that just now, okay? So foreign key member ID, type int, okay? So how do I declare this foreign key member ID int and relate this back to the members table? So right after my primary key, I come down and I go foreign key. What's the foreign key? Well, it's f k underscore member underscore ID. Cool. So this f k member ID is referring to this value here, which is of type int. Okay, perfect. And what's it relating to? Well, this references the members database table. And more specifically, it's mapping back to the member ID. Excellent. So what's happening now? So this is my foreign key value, 
I've declared it to be my current my foreign key value and we're looking back at the members table and we're saying that the value that's stored here as FK member ID will actually be a value that's in this members table already okay so I'm gonna save my little example uh, he what did I call it Call address one okay just may as well just save it okay perfect so now I have my table so I run so it's telling me create table address no problems absolutely fine excellent so now I need to populate some data so I've already created some test data for my members table so we've already seen this work okay so we've some people Barry Alan Diana Jane me Fred and whatever everyone's email address has to be unique so I'm just going to try an eye over this so Barry Diana Jane John and Fred absolutely fine so I'm gonna run I'm gonna execute so everything goes in okay so I'm going to create a new tab and I'm just going to see if the information's gone in. So select S E L E C T. Select star. Select everything from members. Okay. Run. Okay. Cool. So there's my member ID one two three four five. Barry Allen Diana whatever all the values that are there. okay. That's exactly what I expect to see. So absolutely fine. So great. Okay. So I'm just gonna clear off my outputs here and I'm going to create a some more inserts okay so my members information is there so how can I create an insert statement or how can I add some data or how can I create a row in the address table so that I can relate a specific member in the members table to an address so let's say that we want to give John McCarthy an address okay so I have to say insert into address S some values so some into some fields and then I want to insert some physical values whatever okay um, so what are we storing for members so I can't remember let's have a look back so create table address so I'm storing a full address which is so where someone actually lives and their and the member ID which is the primary key from the members table okay so whoops okay so I am storing into address so I'll go for the primary key first FK okay it's helping out we'll take the help FK member ID comma and the other one's full address so we'll take a bit of help on this too so okay insert into address the foreign key value and the address for that particular person I'm going to go down a new line to make life easier so okay we're storing an address for John McCarthy so what's John's member ID well I can see from the table it's four now obviously if we start thinking about this to some degree it's like hard coding a value so we will see different techniques in the kind of next week or two of how we can actually uh, predetermine, you know, what a particular value might be and how we can pre-populate some stuff. OK, so we'll just do it the old fashioned way first, just so we actually understand what's going on. So I'm saying that this is for John and I'm going to put his address to be uh, Kildare, comma, Ireland. Perfect. So insert into address. <laughs> FK member ID, full address, whatever, values. Excellent. So there's there's one. So I'm gonna run it. Okay, cool. So saying that it it has been entered for us, okay? So that's one value that's gone in for us, okay? So I'm just gonna change it here. So I'm not gonna bother sa saving these. So I'm just gonna add one more um address in. So the first person in was Barry Allen. So his ID is one and Barry's address is Central City USA. Whatever. Okay, cool. No one really cares. So run. Okay. So we've two values in. Okay, excellent. So I'm gonna get rid of this here. So I've I've inserted two values in. So I'm storing information via the the foreign key value which is coming from members 
and someone's address. Okay, so let's just get rid of this. And I'm going to do a select star from address. Run. Okay. So we have address ID. So this is the primary key value for the address table. This is what I'm using to be able to unique, uniquely identify something. Absolutely fine. So if we're saying that for what we've set up a little bit and we haven't really gone there with it, potentially if the foreign key member ID had been set to unique, this could have been another way of uniquely identifying something. But that's a different problem, so we won't superly worry about that. So we have address ID of one and two. So this is my primary key for the address table. Then I have the full address. So we have someone's address allegedly is Kildare, Ireland, and it seems to be linked with a FK member ID of four. Mm. Okay, fair enough. And then I have another address ID of two, and someone lives in Central City, and their FK member ID is one. Oh, okay, so fine. If I was to just come back one, so I'm just going to see the information that's actually stored in select star from members. So let's see how this maps up for us, okay? So I just run that. Okay, so now I have two tabs. So you see here, three and four, absolutely fine. Okay, so I have two result sets. So this gives me the result sets, select everything from members is what we're seeing. And the second query, select star from address, is showing in this tab here, which is to add uh, the Kildare and Central City, fine. Okay, so let's just have a look at what we have. So these are our member IDs. So we've one, two, three, four, five, okay? And then I go back to the result set from address. So someone with an FK member ID of four lives in Kildare, in Kildare Ireland, okay? So if I know that John McCarthy's member ID is four, then that means that when I come back here that if, if someone's FK member ID is four, then they live in Kildare, Ireland. This is John's address. So if I was to take that one step further, I could go select. Okay, let's just be a little more selective, okay? Select full address from address where f k underscore member id is equals to four go to the members address table find the row with an entry of fk member id being equal to four and return that for us so i run my query i get an extra tab and the result from this query is saying that the full address for someone with an fk member id of four is kildare ireland and if I map that back to my members table, the person with a member ID of four is John McCarthy. So John McCarthy's address is Kildare, Ireland, okay? And if I wanted to change that to select full address from address where FK member ID is equals to one, I can run. And now it's telling me that it's Central City, USA. So when I come back to the members table, who has a member ID of one? Ah, okay, that's Barry Allen. So that means that Barry Allen's address in the address table is Central City, USA. And that's maintaining those relationships for us, okay? So that's just the basic setup. And I do realize that there's a lot more that we're going to do with this. And we'll get into the kind of more uh, kind of complexities of kind of maintaining the relationships, being able to query information from a wide variety of different tables and so on and so forth, which is a little bit down the line for us, okay? But we just really want to kind of conceptually understand what's happening with this and that we can see that the relationships exist between the different tables. So if I can create this relationship between members and addresses, there's no reason that I can't start building up relationships with a number of other different tables, okay? So the kind of syntax and the logic holds true. It's just a matter of expanding it out, okay? And um, I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, uh, please let me know.